A deadly camping trip, a green dude's big break, and a superhero movie that left everyone in tears. 2022 is the year for sci-fi movies that'll make you laugh, cry, and question your existence all at once. Prey, the latest installment in the Predator franchise, goes back to 1719, when one of the first Predators comes to Earth. This hunter is pitted against Nauru, a Comanche woman looking to prove she has what it takes to be a great hunter. Prey has breathtaking vistas, bloody action, and excellent performances. A tease in the credits and Easter eggs from other Predator films will please franchise fans. But the biggest reason to see this sci-fi gem is definitely Amber Mid-Thunder's Nauru, who uses her wits and training against an alien foe far larger than she. Beyond the Infinite Two Minutes is a delight from start to finish. Kato lives upstairs from the cafe he owns, and one evening he discovers a time anomaly while looking at his computer monitor, allowing him to see two minutes into the future. Once his friends find out, they want to see if they can expand the anomaly to take advantage of the ensuing foreknowledge and things spiral from there. The recursive nature of the repeating two minutes leads to some philosophical debates, but Beyond the Infinite Two Minutes never gets too heavy. It's light and breezy, even when danger looms, and a whole lot of fun. Show them who we are. The sequel to Black Panther and the 30th movie overall in the MCU introduces a second incredibly powerful and hidden nation to the MCU, Talokan. Talokan is the cinematic update of Atlantis, home of the submariner Namor who doesn't want the outside world to discover his homeland for fear that Imperial powers will attack and steal their resources. But things aren't that simple. Namor also demands the life of a young scientist who unintentionally allowed one of Talokan's vibranium deposits to be discovered, leading his country into conflict with Wakanda. Black Panther Wakanda Forever is a major-scale movie, even for the planet-hopping franchise. Its international conflict creates a plot that feels like a political thriller with global stakes, and its action scenes are some of the most exciting we've ever seen in the MCU. Of course, the main thrust in the movie deals with honoring the legacy of the late Chadwick Boseman and his character King T'Challa, and by the end of the film, there isn't a dry eye in the audience. Something in the Dirt has a deceptively small scale for its big ideas. The movie centers on two neighbors who meet shortly after one of them moves into an apartment building. They quickly develop a friendship, and when strange things start happening in the newly leased apartment, like things floating inexplicably and wild light refractions that create patterns on the wall, they decide to make a documentary about the phenomenon. But as they continue to explore what may be causing these strange occurrences, they begin to split in their theories and the methods they want to employ until we're left with more questions than answers. Something in the Dirt is a fascinating movie not only for the questions it poses in its plot, but also because it's a strange mix of mockumentary, home video collage, and straightforward narrative that makes it one of the most formally inventive science fiction movies of the year. Micah Monroe is a genre darling for a reason, and this year she's offered us not one, but two great new genre movies. Watcher delivered a skin-crawling story of a stalker, and Significant Other brings us a high-concept sci-fi movie. Significant Other follows couple Ruth and Harry on a backpacking trip in the Pacific Northwest, where they discover a series of strange and disturbing occurrences in the wake of a comet's arrival. The movie doesn't offer answers for a while, and instead keeps the audience guessing in an equally fun and unnerving game of what's really going on here. It also helps that Monroe and co-star Jake Lacey are giving incredibly charming performances, and that the forest setting is beautiful. The Dragon Ball franchise has always been about aliens, as the central Saiyan characters come to Earth from a different world. But Dragon Ball Super Superhero is one of the most science fiction-heavy movies in the franchise, as it focuses not only on aliens, but also androids and a genetically altered bio-android. The plot follows the often sidelined character Piccolo as he takes center stage in investigating the resurgent Red Ribbon Army, a potential threat to the franchise's ensemble and the world. Like all Dragon Ball media, the movie includes some incredibly exciting and visually stunning animated fight sequences, but its focus on Piccolo allows for a new character to be the emotional center of the film. From the creative minds that brought us Free Guy, The Atom Project follows the titular Atom, a time-traveling pilot from 2050 who gets stranded in 2022 while pursuing an unauthorized mission. There, he meets his 12-year-old self, and the two Atoms must work together to accomplish older Atom's objective, get back to 2018 to save his wife's life. But time travel has a way of making things complicated, especially since older Adam is fleeing a dystopian future. With the odds stacked against them, Big Adam and Little Adam decide their only solution is to find the man who actually created time travel itself, their dearly departed dad. The Adam Project makes maximum use of Ryan Reynolds' likability as older Adam. He plays excellently off his younger self's vulnerabilities. Newcomer Walker Scobell kills his role. God, it's like I traded my brains for those muscles. 
Plus, there are time jets and both Reynolds and Mark Ruffalo. Who doesn't want to see Deadpool interact with Bruce Banner? After Yang is a deeply moving exploration of memory and grief. In an idyllic-looking future, parents Jake and Kira have provided their adopted daughter Mika with an android sibling named Yang. When Yang stops functioning, Jake promises Mika he will have her brother back to normal as soon as possible. But as they go through Yang's memory bank, Jake and Kira make several major discoveries about Yang's past and the true depths of his soul. What emerges is breathtaking, emotional, and profound, proving filmmaker Kogo Nada is one of the very best directors working today. Writer-director Richard Linklater mixes fact and fantasy in Apollo 10 and a half, a space-age childhood. A kid growing up in 1960s Houston, young Stanley is fired up by Apollo 11. As he watches history unfold, the real details of the mission are interwoven with his elaborate dream of being recruited as an astronaut, because he's small enough to fit into a lunar module's tight quarters. Apollo 10 and a half, a space-age childhood, embraces nostalgia without completely ignoring the upheaval in America at this time. Houston is just as fascinating as the moon. The movie uses rotoscoping, a unique animation technique to capture Stanley's imagination just as vividly as the actual launch of the Saturn V. Lonely teenager Suzu leads another life in the virtual world known as You. There, she's a famous singer named Belle with charming freckles and flowing pink hair. After a concert is violently ruined by a mysterious user known as the Dragon, Belle sets out to find him. She soon discovers they both have tragedy in their real lives tragedy they need to overcome. Bell features stunning visuals and real emotional heft rooted in the trials and tribulations of adolescence. Sam Raimi infuses the Marvel Cinematic Universe with his trademark horror in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Superhero sorcerer Stephen Strange must protect America Chavez, a dimension-hopping teenager from someone seeking to steal her powers. Their flight across the multiverse takes them to the very limits of existence, with Strange grappling with his own issues and growing his own powers by confronting dark and disturbing versions of himself across dimensions, both alive and dead. Plus, Wanda Maximoff emerges as the emotional core of the film as she struggles with the harrowing aftermath of WandaVision. What results is a blend of terror, fantasy, and sci-fi you won't soon forget. Simply put, Everything Everywhere All at Once is one of the best films of the year. An endlessly inventive and absurdist delight, it stars Michelle Yeoh as Evelyn, a middle-aged laundromat owner whose IRS audit becomes a surreal adventure. The multiverse is threatened by a fearsome being, and only Evelyn can save every dimension everywhere. An eye-popping journey through alternate universes ensues. Multiple viewings are a must to catch every detail packed into this wild, heartfelt, and colorful good time. Audiences are told up front that Lightyear is the film that made Toy Story's Andy a Buzz Lightyear fan. To infinity and beyond. We see the titular hero's headstrong insistence on adventuring solo strand a ship full of his fellow space rangers on a hostile planet. Buzz winds up working with a crew of lovable misfits, including his former partner's granddaughter and an adorable robotic cat named Socks, to make things right. But can they overcome Zerg, the enigmatic villain sending waves of robots after them? Lightyear is a gorgeously animated sci-fi adventure with lots of comedy and heart. It's at its best when spotlighting the crew's attempts to figure out their strengths, and when indulging in absolutely incredible hyperspace sequences. Whether you're watching it on an IMAX screen or Disney+, Plus, this Pixar tale is sure to entertain and inspire. Neptune Frost is a singular work of Afrofuturism. It's a sci-fi musical with an audacious vision that mesmerizes even if, at times, the story seems elusive. Set in Burundi, the film follows a coltan miner named Matalusa and an intersex runaway named Neptune. At turns impressionistic and poetic, Neptune Frost features characters with symbolic names such as memory and psychology, and it primarily concerns an anti-colonialist hacker collective waging techno-war against an oppressive police state seemingly run by the authority. When Matalusa and Neptune meet, it creates a jolt that powers the collective's technological fight. Be prepared for the visuals and songs to get stuck in your cerebral cortex. Horror auteur Jordan Peele succeeds once more with No, a sci-fi horror film about siblings Emerald and O.J. Haywood, horse wranglers to the stars. When a UFO begins hovering above their ranch, they decide to catch it on tape. But they're not the only ones with plans for the mysterious entity. Reporters, photographers, and a sleazy former child star all have their own designs. Nope tackles society's exploitation of tragedy, humanity's relationship with animals, and the treatment of below-the-line crew on film sets. This makes for a layered experience that will have you questioning your own assumptions from the very edge of your seat. 
The surreal sci-fi rom-com adventure stars Kentucker Audley as James Preble, a government agent who audits people's dreams. That's right, in the future, this movie imagines dreams are taxed. He soon discovers something more sinister afoot as he audits Bella, an elderly artist and the sole occupant of the titular home. Full of bizarre logic, oddball characters, and striking imagery, Strawberry Mansion is a splendid head trip guaranteed to expand your imagination.